It is 916 now and welcome back here to Good Day Kentucky. Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School's musical theater class is bringing back the award-winning animated film and stage play Beauty and the Beast Jr. It's the romantic and beloved take on that classic fairy tale. We all can't wait to see it. So we wanted to bring in Caitlin Rucker and Mackenzie McConnell to tell us all about it. Thank you both for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. So tell us first, why do you think the story is such a classic? Well, I think, you know, it starts off with we, we find out that Belle is really a misfit and that, you know, that uh, theme is also very common with the Beast and so there's this whole, um, you know, as an audience we kind of relate to that because we're all trying to find our own place in the world and we're all trying to fit in and sometimes we don't really feel like that and so I think as the audience is watching this story and watching, you know, this redemption, this second chance that the Beast is giving, we're all giving us like this hope at like mm -hmm. um, a better chance, so, yeah. And why do you think this story is so widely told, so many people connecting with it? I think um, it's kind of, it's very, these characters are larger than life, and I think um, we, are, we kind of watched it as a child. It's been uh -huh. around for a long time. It's kind of a classic, right? And so um, when we see this, our um, inner, chi inner child is kind of released, and we're like, oh, this is so cool, and mm -hmm. um, it's just a wonderful time to escape from, you know, our world can be kind of dark, but like, like Bell's world, and um, it's kind of a beautiful place, and it's an awesome escape. So. Well, I can't wait to see this play, but tell us a little bit about each of your roles and what you're most excited for. Gosh, um, well, I get to play Belle wow. in um, Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> which is such an honor, honestly, because um, she's such a feminist figure. She was one of the first feminist um, characters in the Disney universe, you know? She really, you know, despite being um, trapped and imprisoned, she really takes this, and even though she is pessimistic about um, her chances and, and hopeless, she never changes who she is, and I think that's why people really admire her and her character, her spirit that she carries on despite all of the tragedies that she's going through. Definitely. And tell us about your role. Yeah, and I play Mrs. Potts. And oh, one of my favorite characters. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, tales all the time. Like, yeah, it's, what is that like? It's super fun because um, she's like an older character, very like wise, and I love being able to portray that on stage, and she has just this beautiful, beautiful heart and love for um, her kid Chip, but also Belle. I think she finds Belle kind of like a daughter to her, and mm -hmm. I, I think it's beautiful to see that mentor, that mentorship as the musical goes on. So, so uh, which number do you think the audience will be most excited to see? Ooh, well, she choreographed Gaston, and it's pretty great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> choreographed that yourself? Yeah, actually, um, I think, you know, well, they're obviously going to love the classics, Be Our Guest, Gaston. Yeah. I think they're really going to like some of the new music that they might not be... Um, as well heard of because okay. like in the musical there are some new songs there's like home there's um human again um i think they're really gonna enjoy this and especially the song beauty and the beast because that's such a classic and especially the dance it's so iconic i think people are really gonna enjoy that oh it's <laughs> such a classic well, we wish you guys the best of luck let people know uh when's the performance and how can they get, t get tickets um tickets are sold at the door and the performances okay. are december 7th 8th and 9th um all at 7 and then on december 12th it sorry that's okay. We've got it all up on the screen, right? Yeah, is works. this yeah. correct? <laughs> yes. uh, we'll break a leg. Is that still appropriate to say? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break a leg, ladies. Thank we you for coming it. here on Good Day Kentucky to tell us about it. But stay with us. Up next, we know planning for the future. It's something we all need to do, but maybe we need to do a little more of it. We have Family Wealth Group coming in after the break.